Hello wonderful people, I'm doing back-to-back -back three reviews today. I don't know which one's gonna be uploaded first, but in this particular episode, I'm gonna be doing a fragrance review from House of Armaf once again. Uh, this is not my bottle, uh, this is brother Irfan's bottle, who's a doctor in, by profession, a good brother of mine in the community. He just recently bought this fragrance and he said, brother, have you tried this or reviewed it? I said, no, because nowadays I do not buy so many Armafs. Um, the reason being that I actually have too many fragrances I've been clearing out a lot of fragrances that I don't reach for, uh, the decans they don't sell. So I try to like, you know, clear out and then, you know, recover some cash. But uh, this one particular Armof is relative to the new fragrance. It's called Armof Legacy for men. It's called EDP. Uh, it's EDP concentration and very unique presentation. Okay. And at the back, Sterling Perfumes. It's from, made in Dubai. And this one doesn't open like top like that. I'm really sorry. The next door, they are doing some construction work. I said it in other video also. So the noise is really, really bad today, sorry. Okay, <laughs> so it opens up like that, the box. And actually it's not a very robust box, it's paper, okay? And the bottom looks like that. The prices on these are around $30 under. So when you open it, it's pretty much like opens up like a Zippo lighter, but you have to be careful because these are, when you pick it up, you can pick up by one side and it might come off. So the bottle quickly, it's kind of uh, tacky, Many people said that and I can see it's kind of polarizing bottle. It kind of looks like a Burberry would release. You know, it's like a Burberry wallet kind of like guys carry a wallet. I think this they're trying to portray a wallet because this has, this part is plastic, you know, and this part is kind of soft, cushiony, like, you know, those cars have carbon fiber and then all the, sometimes, you know, have that armrest, they have a little bit of leather cushioning. It's kind of soft material like that. Inside it's glass, you can see the juice moving and it says arm off, legacy, EDP. And the bottle opens up from the side like that. Almost same like the box. Bottom has the sticker. So very, uh, I would say I think there's a magnet here. Yeah, a little bit, not very strong magnet, but there's a magnet here. The back is pretty plain. And it says arm off and manufacturing date and all that. So this particular perfume, uh, I want to spray and talk about it. And the thing is they actually give new arm off sprayers, which has arm off written on it. And these are actually better sprayers than their older sprayers. Let's spray this and talk about it. Okay, let's go two sprays. So the bottle up there looks like that. It kind of looks like, uh, from this side, looks like a uh, MacGyver pocket knife, you know, like those smart pocket knives. So this one, people uh, talk about this as a Platinum Egoist by Chanel Spawn. And I do have Platinum Egoist for more than five years now, I think. I think around five years time. So I know Platinum Egoist very, very well. This is one of my most favorite Chanel perfume I ever purchased. I have a lot of other Chanel's that I tried or owned this remain my number one. If I have to choose one, this is my probably my number one Chanel alongside Chanel Allure original one. So this one is kind of green, metallic -y, cooling at the same time. It, it will hit you up like, you know, it works all year round. One of the most versatile fragrance it made my list. It's very different kind of a perfume. If you like Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, you know, Mont Blanc Legend. And then if you do like some other fragrances, um, this one, I think uh, it's the niche version of those even though this is a designer line so this one also has one clone from frank olivier i think passion man I, if i'm not mistaken the name i tried that that one is cheaper than armaf one but uh, that one uh, the fragrance lasting power is good but the presentation is not so good the very flimsy kind of bottle this presentation is better but i think the frank olivier is a little bit cheaper by like five dollars so how is it in terms of smell? In terms of smell, it's a very good interpretation of Platinum Egoist. In the opening, it smells a little bit, a uh, little bit different. It opens up green, okay? If you do enjoy like Green Irish Tweed or Platinum Egoist, this kind of perfumes, uh, you can definitely rock this and you can really enjoy it. Got good performance. You know, when you wear it, it gives you solid six hours in Bangladesh condition. On the clothes, if you combine, if you stay in the AC, in the office, workplace, it will easily give you six to seven hours push. Projection is pretty good for the first one and a half hour. Then it gets within like a one to two feet, okay, performance. For, so the miss, most important thing is, it is not exactly like Platinum Egoist. It has sort of like a barbershop feel, uh, a little bit more so than Platinum Egoist. If you like barbershop plus green, kind of like a aftershave, uh, kind of spicy, like back in the 90s time. If you have been around the barbershop, this is the smell you're gonna get. But I can tell you one thing, there's this metallic tone also in this, and it's not gonna work for everybody. It doesn't have much sweetness or citrus. So the fragrance is pretty much for people who love Platinum Egoist, but want to get something of a budget version with 
decent looking bottle but i'm pretty sure some people will hate this bottle design because it looks very childish or you know uh, what's the other word uh, tacky <laughs> but i kind of like it but you know i have seen better bottles from our mouth but it's nice kind of cool so i really like the smell i reviewed it on fragrantica i really said it's a very good interpretation but not a real 100% clone i would say somewhat like 70% 75% similar to platinum egg plus its own barber shop barber shop like let's say shaving cream and kind of like a foamy feel that's what you get from it pretty good value for money considering the price point and the longevity so the edp concentration actually you can say it's justified in this one like unlike some other arm of fragrances but uh, this is not an entry level fragrance this is for people who are a little mature age would be like 20 and up uh, youngsters teenagers may not dig this dna because it has a little bit old school vibe but nonetheless it's good quality perfume so overall this fragrance i'm giving it from value point it's eight but how much do i like it compared to platinum egg i'm giving it a seven and half 7.5 out of 10 so good perfume worthy of checking out if you are looking for platinum egg waste sort of fragrance so that's the review second review time to move on to the third and last review for today see you soon bye bye